High Efficiency Image Container. Hike. That's the default format for images on the iPhone. It's been adopted by Apple already since 2017 and yet it is still not very popular format. Many places doesn't allow you to work with these images. You can't edit hike format. Some of the websites doesn't even allow you to upload it. That's the reason why you might need to transfer, why you might need to convert these images from the hike format to a standard JPGs. And that's exactly what I'll show you in this video. But did you know that you can avoid this whole process by setting an iPhone to take images directly in JPG? Well, let me show you how it's done. I'll start with that. So simply open the settings on your iPhone, scroll a bit down until you find the camera. And the first option here is formats. Now switch from high efficiency to most compatible. The phone will be now taking images in JPG format and videos will be in H264. But the thing is that the JPG photos takes twice as much storage than hike photos and they are pretty much the same quality. So I would rather save my phone storage and transfer only the images I want and then convert only those photos I will need to use on the computer. So let me show you how it's done. It can be done in several ways and it's pretty easy to do it on the Mac. Let's start with Preview, which is the default app for opening images on the Mac. Here I have an image in hike format, which I have transferred from my iPhone. If I double click it, it will open in Preview. And all I have to do is to open File menu on top and click Export. As format, I can use JPEG and adjust the quality using the line to set the compression level. Now click save and it's done. If you compare the images, they are identical in quality I would say. But the new one is double the size as I mentioned before. So this way I can convert any image I have on the Mac in the format I need. But if you sync your photos using photos app, there is even easier way how to convert the images to JPG. So open Photos app and search for the photo you want to convert. I will use command I shortcut to show you that the image is really in hike format. And now all I need to do to convert it in JPEG is to drag and drop the image to the desktop or any other finder window. The image will be automatically converted. I think it can't be easier than that. There are actually many more methods and third party converters. But I don't think there is any need into installing some other additional software if you can do it with the things you already have on the Mac. You can also do it online if you find it easier. There are a few pages that can do it for you. I will leave links for them in the description of this video. I hope you found this video useful and you have learned something new. If you have any other questions or you want to know something about other formats, feel free to leave a comment under this video and I'll be happy to talk to you. And if you want to learn more about your Mac, click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.